Hey guys, welcome back into the shop. Sorry for the delay in the videos, but hey, that's life. Uh, so recently I've had a lot of people, and in the past, after I built this uh, fabulous enclosure back here, uh, asking me how do I do my dust collection. So basically what I'm going to do today is just walk you through real quick on how I did the dust collection. Um, I didn't have time to film how I made uh, my little blast gates and all that stuff. And it's not going to be perfect setup either, but it's what I decided to go with and it's what I put together in my garage and it works for me. So uh, hopefully this will give you some ideas on how to set yours up. So without further ado, let's get in there and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so first of all, you've got to have some sort of a uh, dust collector. In my case, I decided to go with a vacuum and a knockoff dust deputy type thing. It's uh, what they call a cyclone. Uh, so basically, you take your uh, shop vac, you run it into your cyclone, and then your cyclone out to your hoses that's going to be vacuuming everything up. Uh, with this one, I bought it off a of Wish. It was like 20 bucks. Uh, it's worked excellent since I've had it, no complaints. Everything goes into that five gallon bucket. Uh, you just pop it apart and away you go. Uh, this fits perfectly in the cabinet that I, I have built down here. You know, it's just part of my whole workbench set up there and stays fairly quiet. It's a little uh, muted than just sitting out in the open. So that works. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is we'll go on to the, the little baffle. Okay, so here's what we got. I wanted a three-way baffle. That way I had three separate uh, places to put... Uh, hoses vacuum hoses so i just took some uh, pvc spliced it together got an end cap down there i got that run that's what goes up to the machine uh, i've got that one right there in the middle open i don't have anything connected to it it's going to run as a hard line to my uh, planer and my joiner and then i've got this one right here which uh, is for my table saw and just general vacuuming needs now I've made these blast gates here, and I'll show you the one up there by the machine here in a minute. Uh, none of this is uh, glued together yet, because I've got to come up with a way to keep that uh, horizontal. Uh, right now it's vertical, so I have to uh, I have to use one of these clamps to keep this in the uh, closed position. But uh, pretty simple design. These uh, are easy to make. They're very cheap to make, uh, and there are some good uh, tutorials on YouTube on how to make them. Um, it's just basically uh, some some pine, uh, some uh, epoxy, drill some holes, glue some stuff together. Not that bad. Uh, that right there is the system going into the cabinet where the shop back is. Uh, I, I figured using the PVC to hardline it would be a little better than having floppy hoses uh, running all over the shop. So that's kind of the baffle system. Uh, nothing, nothing expensive, nothing major. I've just kind of rigged it up to where it sits... Uh, on the side of the cabinet with uh, with no problems. So uh, then we'll go up and we'll uh, we'll check out the uh, area where it connects into the uh, enclosure to the machine. Okay, so you see there it's coming up out of the uh, workbench. It goes up the wall, uh, makes some funky bends just because that's the way I had to do it, and it goes into this blast gate. So this would be in the uh, closed position, meaning no suction is happening inside. Uh, this would be the open position, meaning that it's getting suction. Um, once again, check out uh, some YouTube videos on how to make those. Uh, they're really uh, pretty informative and easy to understand. They're not hard to make. But that's how I got it going into the machine. Right here, this little piece of PVC coming out, I have a, a piece that goes in as well, and it just sticks through the machine. And next we'll go into the machine and I'll show you how to hook everything up in the machine. Okay, now that we're inside the enclosure, uh, you can see there's a piece of PVC that sticks out to about right here. And I've just taken this uh, really flexible hose. <clears throat> and you really need a flexible hose uh, so it doesn't bind or jam up the machine when it moves. Um, this stuff is great. Um, I'll put a link down in the bottom uh, where I actually bought it on Amazon. Um, and some, some hose clamps to connect it to the PVC. Now, take a look back, see what I did. Uh, you need to have a way to support the hose and you need to make sure there's enough movement or clearance in the movements so it doesn't bind up. You don't want it pulling and tugging on your, uh, your dust boot there. So what I came up with was just some simple L brackets uh, screwed to the top. Uh, you can move them as needed. 
uh, and some uh, tarp bungees that just kind of hold it up. And it can be adjusted throughout those as needed as well. So the hose comes down, uh, supported in two spots, and uh, then it just hooks up. Now what a lot of people like to do is uh, to support the hose and tie it off to the, the router or something kind of like that. It's not a bad idea and I'll probably end up doing that right now. It just kind of hangs there and as the machine moves it works just great. So uh, so it's pretty simple. Like I said, uh, not much to it. it, uh, it it's it's real simple uh, setup. There's, there's nothing fancy going on here and everything works the way it's supposed to. So uh, <clears throat> pretty much that's it. Uh, if you need to hook up a dust collection system inside of an enclosure, this is the way I did it. Uh, it was pretty cheap. Uh, PVC doesn't cost a lot. The hose is more expensive than the PVC and everything else, but you get a pretty good stretch of it, uh, as you'll see in the link up below. Uh, so anyway, if you have any questions about this dust collection setup or, or how to set up your own, uh, please feel free to ask me. I try to get to all the comments, even though I don't make uh, videos as often as I probably should. Uh, I try to answer all the comments and questions, and I think I do a pretty good job of that. So, anyway, without uh, anything else, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more projects going soon. And uh, some of the projects I'll suggest that I do or want to know how to do, maybe we'll get to them one of these days. Um, so, anyway, any questions, just let me know. Please subscribe to the channel, and uh, y'all have a good day, and Happy New Year.